Good day, friends. It is me, HL My Tech, and a user asked me to create a landing craft from D Day. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, so first things first, this is a landing craft. Kind of square, and we need a way for it to open, a place for passengers where the engine was, and some armaments. Let's start by naming it Landing Craft. And I'm going to put my initials after it because that's what I always do. So friends, I want to switch from basic shapes to the all shapes. And we need to go all the way out to page 13. So you just scroll down and skip and skip and skip. And then boom, bring out a boat hull. We're going to take this and we're going to make it 10 for the stern. We're going to make it 10 for the bow. And I'm going to leave the mid length at 50. I do want to make the depth only 10. So it's kind of shallow, just like that craft is. We are going to use the duplicate command or control D and we're going to set that aside for later. We need to hollow this little fella out and then do control up so it's one millimeter higher. And then we are going to do the arrow to move it forward two clicks. So it's going to cut out that hull. We're going to take the two pieces and group them and you can see, boom, you have got a landing craft. Now I want the bottom of this flat, so let's go back to the basic shapes, bring out a whole box, and I'm going to tell you to stretch it all the way across, and then we are going to go three millimeters up, and when we group those two, you will have a flat bottom on your landing craft. Now we do need to make the bottom in here, so let's bring out another rectangle, stretch it along the length, switch your grid to 0.1 millimeter so that it's easier to get things adjusted, and I'm going to do control up until that meshes with the other part. So right there is where I like that. I'm going to look at it from a corner, and we can just slide this in until it meshes. To make it so it looks a little bit more correct, you can do the gray. I'm going to set my radius to 2, so that makes it a little bit rounded. And we're going to just nudge that one in until it connects as well. So I'm making sure I, got a, I have a flat bottom for my landing craft. You can see i got a tiny gap back here, so I'm just going to move that back. So boom, we are now in business. I'm going to group those two pieces so they stay together. And now it's time to cut the area for our door. Let's bring that out with another hole box. We're going to rotate this dude 22 and a half degrees. I'm going to do control down arrow to get it below so I can see that it's going to cut all the way through. I'm going to slide this out to the front so it's still cutting just the way I want. I want to make these same adjustments to this one here. So right now I'm going to grab these two. Notice it says two shapes. I'm going to do a line, and I'm going to make this gray one the master, and I want them aligned to the back. I'm going to take this shape and do Control D as well, and then I'm going to switch my nudge back to one millimeter, and I'm going to nudge it into place over here. So now I can cut these two, and they will group with that cool angle. And then I'm also going to cut that bottom, just like we did on the other side. So remember, we stretched it all the way across. We made it three millimeters deep. And once again, make sure we only have those three selected. And we can choose a line and center and then group. So we've got the same hole shape. And this is going to help us in a moment when we're done creating our door. Let's create our door with the work plane on this slant. Bring out a box and set it on that spot. We know we need to line it up, so I'm going to select them both and click Align, make it the master, and choose the center. And then with that work plane enabled, we can just click on it and shrink it to the right height using the black rectangles. We already know it's correct in those two measurements. I am going to raise it up down here until it's right at that bottom edge. If you need to get more perfect, you can move this down. And then I'm going to choose a thickness of 1 for this shape. I'm going to make it a little more round by changing this number to 2. And then I want to cut off these edges. And that's why we did this project over here. Put the work plane back to the ground, 
bring out a box, stretch it out to the front of this, and we're going to align them. Once again, center, center. We're going to make this the same height as this other shape. So right there at 10. And then when I make this a hole, and I group the two of them, it'll give us a shape that we can use to trim this. So now we turn this into a hole and bring it over to our door. And if we do shift and select the door and click align and center, you can see it matches up perfect to trim the door, hold down shift, and that hole to the exact right shape. All right, let's turn it gray like the rest of our sweet little landing craft. And I want to stretch it longer. So if you want to stretch it along the old line, we need to re-get that work plane, and then we can lift it up to the size that would protect the occupants, like that. I'm going to put the work plane in the ship, and let's add the engine. I'm going to do that simply with a box. I'm going to hold down shift, and then I'm going to make it a rectangle. I do want to round it. I love that size 2 for the rounding. And then I'm going to make it a little lower. I'm going to make it a different gray just because it looks kind of cool. And then I want those two gun placements. I'm going to use the exact same shape. I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to nudge one to the left. And then I'm going to take that one and shrink it so it's more like a square and a little bit taller. And when I've got it just the way I want it, I'm going to do Control D and nudge it to the other side. So you can see there are a pair of them. I'm going to take those three shapes, and I do like how they are aligned, and I'm going to shift select and group them. Now I can take those three, select our landing craft, choose center, and get them so they're exactly in the middle, like we would probably want them. All right, friends, let's add the gun placements here real quick. I want to put the work plane right here, bring out a cube, hold down shift and shrink it till it's size five or size four. I'm gonna make it one millimeter thick. You can see it's looking out towards, so it's protecting. I'm gonna make the radius two millimeters. I wanna tilt it about 30 degrees. So that way we're shooting up. And then I also wanna rotate it 30 degrees. You'll notice when I do that, it moves, it fits better on this side. So it's shooting out to protect from that angle. I wanna put a machine gun on the front of it. I'm going to do that with a tube. The nice thing about the tube is it actually has the hole in it, which makes it look cool. We're going to do a radius of two, and we're going to do a wall thickness of one. That's still quite large because we've made our little ship so small. So I'm going to hold shift and shrink it to the size that I think fits best. Let's hold down shift and select these two and choose a line make the red one the master choose center and center and you can see our gun placement is in place and now we can stretch it out to whatever size we want i'm going to select those two by doing shift select and i'm going to group them of course you need to make it look the way you want i'm going to choose that and then my next favorite thing to do is to click on the work plane put it back to normal and use duplicate to make a second one of these and then my friends you could rotate it by hand or simply hit flip and turn it the other way how slick is that all right friends well i'm going to stop right here i'm going to put the work plane back on the ground and you can see that you have got a decent replica of a landing craft if you go back here there are so many cool things you can add you could use a rectangle to cut this out and add all these supports and you could make it look unbelievably realistic but I want to make that a challenge for you out there. Right now, friends, this is 3D printable. If that was your goal, you may want to add some more supports back here, but I think it has potential for actually printing pretty darn sweet. 
Friends, remember, if you do make something awesome, you can use the sweet send to command and you can invite me to take a peek at it. Just generate a link and you can share it with me. I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail at HLMontech. You can also keep me posted of your successes on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad there. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.